What's up, Facebook and YouTube? Real quick, I want to address a guy who put a YouTube video out about me. He mentioned me in a video. He said that um, he was a Christian who was attempting to debunk my Christian videos that I made months ago. Well, those videos can't be debunked, and he proved that with his video. He failed to debunk anything that I said. First John chapter 2 verse 22 who is a liar but he that denieth that Jesus is the Christ he is Antichrist that denieth the Father and the Son Whoso, who, uh, whosoever denieth the Son the same hath not the Father he that acknowledgeth the Son hath the Father also let that let that therefore abide in you which ye have heard from the beginning if that which ye have heard from the beginning shall remain in you also shall continue in the Son and in the Father. And this is the promise that he hath promised us, even eternal life. These things have I written unto you concerning them that seduce you. But the anointing which ye have received of him abideth in you, and ye need not that any man teach you, but as the same anointing teaches, teacheth you of all things, and is truth, and is no lie, and even as it hath taught you, ye shall abide in him. And now, little children, abide in him, that when he shall appear, we may have confidence and not be ashamed before him at, at his coming. If ye know that he is righteous, ye know that everyone that doeth righteousness is born of him. Bro Sanchez, you are a liar. You are a Gnostic. You're putting out propaganda that is just um, absolutely foolish. You know, you promote the Anunnaki. You promote uh, all these foolish things. You think that Jesus is Serapis. I've seen your videos. You're a phony. You're a fraud. And you were calling, you were uh, lying flat out in your response video to me. You're saying I called you names. I never called you one thing. I said it seems like you're doing something. It seems like you're repeating something that occultists say, that the Illuminati themselves say, the people that you on your channel expose or pretend to at least. But you lead people in a false direction. You are leading over 9,000 people to hell by, by denying the, the Son, the Son of God. By denying Jesus Christ. You think you have the Bible debunked, but you do not. All these facts that you put up are not facts. They're highly disputed among apologists and historians all day long. It's assumptions is what you're putting up. That's all it is. I can debunk every single video you have ever put out. And I just did one, and you're um, having a little feat of pride. You are very prideful. You instantly start listing your good works. Your works are filthy rags. You need the Son to be forgiven of your sins and inherit everlasting life. Right now, my friend, you are on the path to hell. And it is my duty to defend Jesus Christ, defend the faith, and tell you to your face that you are a fool. Jesus himself would tell you you are a fool for what you are doing. You are leading many people down the path to hell, over about 9,000 people on your YouTube channel. So these videos are meant to reach your subscribers and get them away from your Gnostic nonsense, especially when you refuse to accept edification. I debunked your entire video of contradictions, and I can do it again. I can do it to every single one of your videos. So, you know, you might as well just come back to Christ or, you know, have fun being a fraud because you'll be found out to be a fraud. Jesus himself will tell you on that day to go to the lake of fire for your Gnostic nonsense. Nature is a good thing, but, you know, this earth is cursed. Nature is not what it used to be. At one point, everything was perfect. So, it's very odd to me that you would just promote the Anunnaki. The Anunnaki are the fallen angels. They are the demons that came and mated with women in Genesis. Go read about it. There's plenty of evidence for it. There's a case that can be made. And it's just a foolishness. You were telling every single person to worship these ancient gods when they are the fallen ones that want people to worship them, that want people to fall into the New Age trap. 
You are a wolf in sheep's clothing. That's all you are, brother. You know, I tried to be nice, but, you know, you had to sit there and make me out to be some kind of terrible person. You had your other friend, bro, Sanchez, call me a bigot. What It's to be expected. People hate others for uh, carrying the name of Jesus Christ and uh, pretty much promoting that he is the only way to heaven because he is. So, my friend, you need to stop lying. You're lying to so many people and you're leading them astray and you're going to pay for it big time. God's going to look at you on Judgment Day and he's going to put you in hell for denying the Son and laughing in the face of Christians and laughing at the name of Christ. Do you, do you not realize, like, you talk about the little video I made debunking every single thing you said. I debunked every single thing. I refuted you point by point by point. And now I can do it again. So, you know, it's just really sad. It's sad to see you uh, <laughs> promote foolishness, you know. You refuse to accept edification. Uh, it's, it's something else. So brothers and sisters, we just really need to pray for Bro Sanchez. We need to pray that he comes back to uh, Christ, that he really comes to know him, because right now God's wrath is truly upon this individual for all the ta for all the blasphemy and all the laughing in Christian's face and all the all the just the terrible things he says on his YouTube channel about Christianity. He thinks he got he has it all figured out. When any apologist with with a master's degree in history and uh, biblical studies and all that can easily refute every single thing he says, you can find refutations to every single thing he puts in his videos. It's all refuted. It's all false. And he's just trying to make a case to draw people away from the light of Jesus Christ. And he himself has been drawn away. And in doing this, he's bringing wrath upon himself. He will end up burning in hell if he doesn't come back. So, you know, this man really needs prayers and needs to stop leading all these poor people to uh, to hell. I mean, it's just really sad to see, like, 9,000 people listening to this disinformation, false information, propaganda being put out by him. So, Bro Sanchez, I really do pray that you come to know the Lord and that you come back to, to Christ because you've been swept up in deception. Your information is false completely. And another thing you said in your response video is that I'm supposedly doing this for YouTube fame. Well, that's untrue, considering the fact that I don't sell DVDs of my information. You have been preparing and selling D DVDs to make more profit off of your YouTube channel. Am I correct? Well, anyways, you know, it's just really sad. It's sad to see you try to come up with assumptions. It's sad to see you try to draw brothers and sisters away from the Lord and into Gnosticism and worshiping nature. You know, the Bible says that they would one day worship the creation rather than cr the creator. Doesn't that sound a little bit like what you promote? Yes, it does. You know, it's just really sad. And I, you know, I just pray that you come back to the Lord. I really do. But, yeah. That's it for the response video. You know, Bro Sanchez, you're a fraud. Your information's false. You can be refuted by any apologist with a true degree in all these things, and they would be able to tell you that everything you're saying is false, and it's documented daily on Google. All you have to do is do a search on everything you put up in your videos, and it can easily be thoroughly debunked. But all right, brothers and sisters, this was just a response video to this man and his foolish accusations against me. You can clearly see in the previous video when I debunked his contradictions and debunked the false information of the Codex Sinaiticus, which in, uh, in fact the Codex Sinaiticus cannot be trusted. It's a complete Bible, a codex. A codex cannot be trusted because it was manufactured by people. What we trust is the actual manuscripts that date back to those days. The manuscripts can be found in museums. They can be found all over the world. You can read them online. So, once again, foolishness, disinformation. You know, the, the case for Christ has always been sound. His tomb is in Israel. I could put up a screenshot of it right now if I wanted to. And his tomb has been empty since he got put to death. You know, it's just foolishness. It is. So, all right, everyone, that was just my simple refutation of this Gnostic, you know, pray for him, pray he knows the Lord, and, and you know, just uh, hopefully his subscribers wake up to his, his fraudulent claims, and hopefully he wakes up and makes recompense for the, the things he's been saying and promoting, because he is false. But all right, brothers and sisters, have a great day, and have a great day, bro Sanchez. Be safe in the Lord, and God bless.